second album we did was more uh I don't know how to explain it. It was more, I showed the riffs in, in the uh, rehearsal room. Of course, we, we became four piece then. It was more band effort, not band effort, but in, in terms of people knowing what to play and how to do it before you started recording. Penetrate and Austin Mopsina all in the recording a very small studio down in the basement. And we had to use what was available in the studio at that time. And compared to what a studio looked like today, it was nothing. But at the same time, we had a really, really good time together and uh, we gained a lot of experience from it, I think. We did a demo, a four uh, track demo, The Pleasure, from Relapse that released it in, as an underground thing. And that was actually the demo for Osculum. I think it's M Michael's sister playing piano in the beginning of the video of uh, this uh, Pleasure Molestation song. And we rented this place in local town and uh, did the video and just rented in a bunch of lights and things like that. Yeah, then we actually kind of had a band. It was translating from my solo songs to uh, writing for a band. And Michael had a, a few riffs on there. Lars had a few riffs on there. I mean, Michael basically wrote Necronomicon, I think, by himself, pretty much. And then again, the rest was me, but Althotas, I think uh, Lars was involved in and stuff. So, you know, slowly we start building things together and standing in rehearsal room and practicing and then go into the studio and, and, and do the album. I remember a solo I did it on a song and that's all I remember. <laughs> Wait, which one? Althotas. Did you do the solo yep. on Yep. Oh, shit. <laughs> the solo guitarist. I, I remember you did write okay. some stuff there and then you started writing a lot of stuff. Yeah, yes. Shit loads. Good stuff. Yeah, pretty good. Yeah. Pretty good. Oh, I remember when we mixed this one uh, at the studio that we were at. You remember a lot. I remember a lot. <laughs> yeah. But the funny part was like when we were done, we came back to do the mixing in, in, in the um, in the weekend and there was no echo, no reverb, no nothing because he was out on the road. And I remember you said, hey, fuck it, it's death metal. Let's just go. <laughs> so sometimes you, you can hear the vocals go loud and shit because we didn't have compressors and there is no reverb, no nothing on that album. It's as dry as it gets. My favorite. Yeah. And to continue from Osculum, Obscenum, we, we had a chance to go out on tour. I think it was Cannibal Corpse and uh, Fair Factory and Desultory. After a few days, Masi got some ear infection and he really wanted to go home. During the, the first European tour, I was getting uh, ill after a while. And during one show, I think it was in Germany, I cracked my eardrum during the... I, I can't really remember that, you know, I was just remember feeling dizzy and had funny hearing from the monitors and then all of a sudden I apparently passed out and I was carried up to the backstage room and I woke up in, in Stuttgart in a hospital bed. After that I just told the guys that, you know, this is, I'm gonna fly home. You know, I'm gonna end the tour. I told Peter that you're gonna manage the lyrics anyway. You know the lyrics, you you know. So I was gonna go home. And so I did, and that's my departure of hypocrisy. So we had to either go bankrupt or just keep on going as a three-piece. But since I wrote most of the lyrics on the first album and, you know, been going through the second album many times as I was sitting and recording Masse, the, the lyrics was kind of in there, but I never played at the same time and sing at the same time, so it was kind of chaos. I remember the first gig we did, I think it was in Berlin, and I got electrocuted every time I was singing, and it, it was just pure chaos. We're out of my pocket, and we are, as you can see, I'm singing because our singer is sick, so we're trying to do the best, right? We got to keep on going with the song from a new album called Oscar I'm singing. Anyhow, we, we uh, proceed doing 25 shows on that tour and when we got home, we just decided to go three-piece. First we tried with this um, Inferior Devotees uh, mini-album and to see if I could sing, because I couldn't on the demos from 91. But, you know, after playing live and practicing and stuff, I, I, 
I think I got a hang of it. So after we re-recorded vocals on, on um, Inferior, we felt like we had enough confidence to, to go three-piece. So that's really how the Inferior Devotes uh, mini CD came out. And we had a few bonus songs, new songs on there. And also we did this uh, Black Magic with the Slayer cover on there. So we had four songs. So that was the end of that.